Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Royal Purple cartridge oil filter, number 10-981. And I got this used oil filter from a viewer whose name is John Parada from Yonkers, New York. Thanks, John. This oil filter was in service for 10 months, 3,877 miles, and came off of John's father's 2019 Chevy Colorado. Yep, the one with the 3.6 liter V6 engine similar to the one pictured in this video. And John's father was using Mobile One full synthetic 5W30 oil during this period. Let's open up this Royal Purple oil filter and see how the filter media looks. So let's get started. This is the network. You gotta do the silicone, be nice and tight. Get your end of here, filtration. Okay, before we cut this filter open, let's take a quick look at it. Right here it says Royal Purple, 10-981 made in China we got a seam right here and this filter has 42 pleats nicely spaced a lot of oil in them and this has a micron rating of 95 percent for particles as small as 25 microns and it's 100 percent synthetic micro glass filter media and I'm getting all these specs off of O'Reilly's website. We have a screen backing there with a nylon cage. And I want to take the weight of this filter because I opened up one of these before. Actually, I don't have to do that. And the new one weighs 5.8 grams. So this one's almost double with the oil in it. Let's get the width of this filter. three point six zero inches wide okay so let's squeeze this filter media out stretch it out see what it looks like be right back okay here's the filter all stretched out and this filter media is thirty six and a half inches long Okay, the first thing let's do is take the thickness of this filter media. It's a double layered 0.68 millimeter stick. It's coming apart on me here. It's double layered, you can see. And this filter media's got a lot of soot on it. You're going to see it in a microscope picture. I got it labeled. You can actually see the soot particles on top of the filter fibers. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that right now. So as you can see, there's a lot of soot on this filter. And besides the soot, there's a lot of metal on here also. I'll bring you guys down here closer. Look, you can see you can see little sparkles right there, 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 there. One right there. Let's see if they're magnetic. Nope, that's not magnetic. How about this one? That one was. See that? Get sucked right in. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. Let's take a look at the rest of the filter. You'll see there's a lot of them. A lot of sparklies on here. And there's a lot of soot. A lot of soot on here. And another thing. These things here. I don't understand this. This is like the, when the pleats were together, they were maybe stuck somehow and the oil wasn't even filtering through them because they came out really clean like that. And throughout the filter, you'll see it. Actually, some sparklies right there. Let's check these guys out. Nope. I mean, because the core of the filter is plastic and uh, the ends are plastic, so there's no, shouldn't be any metal on it when I, uh, cut it open 
Right here's one too. Oh. But see how the pleats, when the pleats were together, it wasn't filtering right here. Strange. I never seen a filter do that. And these little marks here, this is from my vice when I was squeezing it. So if you see that, that's just from the vice. But yeah, you can see a lot of metal in this filter. And a lot of messed up spots. I wouldn't recommend using this filter for anything. No, this this is a bad looking filter. I never seen a filter this look bad looking. Never seen one do this before. You, know, you can tell when the pleats were together, it wasn't filtering right there. So I'll be sending John an email today letting him know about this filter. And let's look at the rest of it. We got this the metal screen, it has got metal screen backing, has all this. And this is magnetic, but it, this ain't shiny. You can, you know, it's magnetic, but a lot of those weren't even magnetic. And this is all plastics. This wouldn't have left any metal behind from cutting it open. So what do you guys think about this filter? And again, I want to thank John for sending me this oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, oil filter Fridays, I open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. Look at all this soot. And sparklies. There's one. Oh.